Welcome to the vlog guys. How the heck are you feeling today? I am, if you've been watching the last couple vlogs, I've been wrecked. My back is shot, I've been hard to breathe, I've been to the hospital. I've done just about everything to get myself better and nothing seems to be working. So today, uh, we have all these crazy activities planned, all this cool stuff, and I just can't do them. I cannot do them right now. So, we're gonna hop in this hot tub, we're gonna do some tub dogs and hang out with my girl Britt, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna say hello. I don't know what to do. I don't wanna skip a day. I don't wanna do that, because I've just really kind of come back and you got this? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> You got a touch here. Taparoo. Hi guys. I can see you. That rhymed unintentionally. Wait, why isn't it? Come on. Maybe it's this button. Oh, there we go. Drag it. Boom. Oh my gosh, you gotta drag it. And you gotta hit all these. You ready? You in? Oh, it looks amazing. Hi bun. Flash. Hi. You just gonna drive by me and not even say hi? Oh muddy foot. Oh my god. He wants to. No. So, uh, obviously blowing your back out sucks. It's never fun. I've done it many, many times. This one is the most severe version of it. I've never really blown it so hard. It's bad. You look pretty. Thanks. And we're in here when it's not below freezing, so our hair doesn't turn to popsicles, which is awesome. So what do you want to talk about? We got all the all this hot water. What do you want to talk about? I didn't watch the first Tub Talk, so I don't know what... Yo, Tub Talks is going to be the next thing. I'm <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you, man. Tub Talk. You got, you got all these... You got all these talk radio, you got all that tub talks, is it. But on a real note, this is more about us saying hello and not skipping a day. I, um... Wait, where's our kids? Your mom's out of control. Get out of here! This is more about us guys saying hello to you guys. Maybe throwing some inspiration at you right now. Maybe motivated. Getting you up on your feet, feeling better, and uh, just ready to take on your day. That's what I want to do with this vlog right here. This isn't going to be action-packed. This isn't going to be full of comedy. This isn't going to be about us trying to motivate you. That's our goal right now. Okay. You wanna do that? Yeah, I'll try. Okay, go. Action. Um. And cut. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I please just get in just one, just one minute? I just wanna get in for one minute. Whoa. Oh, you flashed me. <laughs> it's a brand new camera. Ah, I get you. So, okay. I think the topic should be relationships. Relationships. Yeah. I think my biggest advice with relationships is. Is you just gonna hit them right now like that? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me let me add a let me add something. To <laughs> Never flick your girl with water. That should be step number one. Um, relationships is a good one. I don't know if it's as motivating as I want it to be, but relationships is uh, something everyone can relate to, and if you if you can't, you will. Uh, at some point, it's gonna happen. So maybe we'll keep someone together, keep a family together, keep okay. two people okay, that if you want to get relationships, together, together. We definitely know a thing or two about family and relationships. Uh, I think when we're always like at our strongest point is when we like go like go back to the basics of like I don't know how to explain I think it. You have it's to like, start at the beginning. Right? Yeah, so we've been together almost 10 years and yeah. we're just like you you know, you've you've got me flowers before, you've done all of it, but like every once in a while it's nice to like do something for someone that did in the beginning. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Super confused. I feel like you're trying to give me advice. <laughs> okay, what I'm trying to say is don't just give up on that person. Like remember the feelings that you had in the beginning, you have to get back to those feelings again. Okay. Deep. It's easy it's when you deep. got me. It's, it's deep. E <laughs> I think let's start let's start at the beginning, right? Okay, so when Britt and I met, uh, actually the first time we even e even seen each other, we both had we didn't even know, but we both had an immediate draw like it was immediately like like in my mind I was like who is that and why have I never met her right because she was Veronica's sister right yep, yeah I am so for me I was like okay I've known this family my whole life who is that that was going through my head like why don't I know her and it and was, I was just thinking dang he's cute I need to start hanging around Jace's friends more <laughs> <laughs> Jace's friend more Friend. Not friends. So initially for us guys, it was immediately like uh, everything. Like I wanted to talk to her. I wanted to. I wanted to just see her. I wanted to just like it was a. It was a straight attraction all around. I thought she was adorable. I thought like everything. It was all around like who is this person? I, I don't even know her. I want to know her. And it was just like I was sucked in. It was awesome. It was a good feeling. It was like a great yeah. feeling. It was amazing. I think that many of you and the internet and whoever watches this probably assumes that. Brit Brittany and I are like this dream couple. Like we always seem so happy together. We always seem perfect. I will say on the vlogs, it does always appear perfect. Obviously we have the same issues a lot of relationships have, but I will say we are extremely blessed with our relationship. We always come to each other and say, thank you so much. Like I'm so thankful for Brittany. For you, yeah. Yeah, and she thanks me all the time. Like we are around each, most couples, I'm not gonna lie, they can't be around each other all day. Most of them, they go to work, they have separate jobs, they come home, they miss each other. Missing somebody 
somebody is super important. That's what keeps that love so strong. Brittany and I, are, we are together at the hip 24 hours a day. And I still, we literally will look at each other and say, I miss you all day. I We're know. together all day. So we are very blessed to have each other. And I think that that is, to me, true love is when you're with somebody all day and for a year straight and you still miss each other. Like, that sounds corny, but it's very true. We, we, we constantly, I'll be with her all day and I'll be like, I miss you. I don't even know what that means. It's just like this this energy attraction that I have to have. I know. I can literally, we can sit together on the couch for like two hours watching a movie. And then like, you leave for five minutes to get something to eat. I'm like texting you. I miss you. I <laughs> like, know. It's ridiculous. We're like kind of like this couple that just met. And we always say that. I'm like, we've been together almost 10 years. Why do I still feel like this? Who's back here? <laughs> But we I kind of have to say all that so that I can get into some advice for maybe you and I, I think a lot of our relationship comes natural But there's a ton of work that goes into it off this camera There's a ton of things that we do for each other that you guys never see um, obviously in the vlogs You see a lot of us uh, happy and that's because my vlogs I always say this I want to use this platform these vlogs my channel for good positivity motivation I want you guys to leave these videos always feeling a little better and that's why you usually only see the happy side uh, I, I don't like to bring any negative in I don't want to bring you down so our life is real we actually have real life problems we do get in arguments very little very I will say compared to people we know and if it is it's like the next day it's like oh man that was so dumb like yeah it's like bickering but that's I think just being yeah. together so long we know each other so well I can say one word I want it uh, my way you want it your way yeah I mean we're both very stubborn too yeah so let's talk about actual relationship advice because we are um, happy together somehow we've mastered this detailed code this da vinci code of numbers and letters so what, what can we give you who may be going through a breakup maybe going through um britney and i broke up one time for two days it's like choose it like, we're done yeah that's a true story we actually did break up and it was two days uh we, i think we literally just like was like we can't i can't live without you like not gonna happen yeah it was like she moved out and at that moment we both said I think it's just best not to waste each other's time right I remember yeah. saying that like within two days it was like get back here now and we never ever talked about separating again I think that's gonna be my first piece of advice and I got this from my uncle a very long time ago and he said the first rule of your relationship is never ever say you can break up. That should never even, never even say the words, never even say we're gonna break up, never, it's not even an option, right? an option. That's big advice, I've always thought of that. It's like, you can't break, it's not even an option. So how do we, how do you fix the problem, you know? It feels so nice outside. It's amazing outside. It's like, it's usually it's snowing on us. Next piece of like funny advice is, um, I think we all think at some point we're all crazy, right? It's like, oh my God, you're crazy, right? Yeah. Like I've said that before. You've called, like, you called me crazy. <laughs> and she's called me I, crazy. I may have been crazy. I and the, co the comical advice uh, that I didn't come up with, I've seen this somewhere is, is find the crazy you love and stick with that crazy. Because if you don't, you're just going to somebody else that's crazy. It's like, no, we're all crazy. So find that crazy you love and you care for and stick with it. I remember like, so like, it had to have been probably the first, first year we were together for sure. I remember you saying, no one can make me more mad than you can. <laughs> like, I know you're meant to be because no one can make me as mad as you can. <laughs> Which is weird, but it's kind of true. It's so true. Like no one can get me worked up or mad. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's because I don't care about anyone like I do you. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I'm gonna jump into some advice for the early relationships because Brittany and I dealt with this big time, and that was uh, 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 most of those that knew us um, said we weren't ever gonna make it and we weren't. And the same with my mom and dad. They were told the same exact thing. My parents always told me that everyone they knew, they they picked them to be the first to split up. Yeah. And they're still married and that's rare that to have marriages last so long nowadays. So um, if you're dealing with that situation, I think you and your relationship know better. Um, but you're gonna hear that. At some point, somebody's gonna tell you she's not right for you, he's not right for you, they're not right for you. And Brittany and I, without a doubt, even in the early stages, knew that they didn't know what they were talking about. And I think yeah. you will know that, you will feel that. Um, you know, it's just like someone telling you you can't do something and then you go out and do it. You know, you can't, you know, yeah, whatever you it is. Use them as fuel to yeah. even 
use them as fuel. And I think I think a lot of people can relate to that one because uh, we all at some point told we can't do something, uh, even though we know that we want to at least try. And that's the first step. We gotta you gotta try it. So I wouldn't let anybody tell you that they're not the right person for you. You gotta at least try. Cannonball! You're too little. The flesh wants in too. Zeus would already been in. There. Oh, Zeus would have dove in. Huh? Ooh. You can't. Cora. Where am I at? Cora. Goes out that door. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, babe? <laughs> Come on, we get this. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. Not daddy. Okay, straight up getting hot, 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 hot. It's not like it was in the winter when it's snowing and you're like ready to just hibernate inside that tub. Come on, let's go. Let's go, girl. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, we also got the fountain. The ice is, look, fountain's back on. See it? That means it's almost go time again. And the pond also looks better than the pool. Look at this. Blech. Cover blew off. It's, yeah. It's all right. Little, little shock and it'll be. I'm sorry. It's a beautiful evening. It's been a beautiful day. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 70, which is crazy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed our little talk. Really wanted to say hi and uh Kane, Cora, Flash! Where are you going, Cora? You driving? You driving your car? Vroom, vroom. Kane was just allowed to get on his games today. We're like 10, 20 minutes ago. What are you playing? What is this? This is so goofy. Goofy, goofy game. But I will say, whoever made this game, thank you because Kane and I had some of the craziest laughs last night. We were just dying laughing playing together. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed, cutie. Hi. <laughs> Yo, that hot tub definitely is a helper. Help. Yeah, just loosened everything in my back. All right, be back in one second. Back, back, told you it'd only be a second. Guys, I just want to thank you so much for sticking around, being patient with me as I get this back healed up. Trust me, it is killing me. Yesterday, or today, I'm I was supposed to be heading to Wisconsin to race cars with Travis Pastrana, and I had to cancel it yesterday. Super bummer, uh, always somebody I love to do crazy stuff with, and I just I, I just wasn't able to really move, so. I am getting up and about. I'm kind of walking around, moving around. Wow, it's super bright, huh? Let's see if I can, oh, it's even brighter. Oh, there we go. But we are doing our best right now, again, didn't want to skip today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually love things like that. Um, I love watching people make videos like that. So I don't know. It's always good to get advice from somebody you watch and you look up to possibly. That being said, we love you. Um, we will see you tomorrow. You are beautiful. Keep your head up. Keep that smile on your face. And uh, that's all I got. Smile more.